Well, so. <laughs> okay, this question is not funny, but it's also funny. Okay, I feel like some women just shy away because um, they they tend to like they I don't know maybe I should say angry because they feel like the person they are with their partner does not trust them to some extent that the child is theirs. So like that can actually like make them want to cause a fight or a delay in what the actual problem is. So if the husband like comes in with oh yeah they want to do a DNA for the child and the woman be like oh so you don't trust me you don't trust the child so like that can cause that can cause the fight and cause a lot more problem and stress for themselves. So I like, feel like yeah trust if they feel like they, you don't trust them enough that can make them shy away from now Miss yeah. Arike you dwell more on trust from the man's side. Don't you trust yourself that this baby is yours? Yeah, that's why we are saying that you might be like, so you don't trust me, you don't trust that this No, me, I'm asking you now. Don't you uh, trust yourself that this baby is yours for you to do that test? For you to agree to the test? No, You're I don't. talking about trust. For, you, for me to trust you, uh, you should trust yourself. So you should prove your trust by saying, okay, babe, let's go, let's go to the hospital and exactly. do this test. Yeah, we can go to the hospital and do the test, but then why don't you trust me when I'm telling you that this How is How do we child? verify this trust? They are saying that why, they, why did they shy away from you? Not like, why are they not doing it? They are running. <laughs> shy away is actually a fancy word that I use there. Women actually run from men who wants to do DNA to confirm their own children, their own union. You understand? This topic is very important. It's funny, like she said, but it's very educational and important to actually address. And somehow, Miss Arike have not hit the nail on the head. Which, I'm going to give her breathing nail? space. I'll give her breathing space. I want to hear from Miss White. Miss... Uh, Miss White. Miss Zane. Okay. Um, for me, like, if such a conversation have to come up in a relationship, because... If me dating this person, I believe before DNA has to come up, it has to take like me to be in a pregnancy of nine months. Mm -hmm. And in that situation for me to like carry a baby for nine months and then me dating you or me being in a, rela in a serious relationship with you mm -hmm. and you have to like bring up something like that <laughs> wherein I haven't bring a scenario of me cheating or, mm -hmm. you know, being in a situation with another outside person yeah. and you bring bring in something like that will actually trigger me to like like what's going on like what's going on in this relationship mm -hmm. the guy we are doing one to one to one now there's baby why are you bringing Ms. such Ms. kind of Ms. okay yeah i want to give you another scenario another instance okay let's assume you're in a relationship with a guy mm. and he wants to go through your phone and you know you're not cheating okay will you resist to give him your phone. If we're in a serious relationship, yes. Will you resist? For me personally, if I consider you as a as a real person to me, and you being real to me, yeah, I will definitely give you the phone. So, but okay, like, but out of that, I won't because there are some other guys out there who can be like very manipulative, like. For me, hey, camera zoom in. <laughs> yes, I've been in a manipulative relationship here. Yeah? I've dated a guy wearing like, oh, like if you want to like come through or want, wanting to like have something to do with like clearing his instinct or something, whatever, it would be like, I want to like let me go through your phone. Wherein this individual will have clear all his. 2020, like 2021 chance and everything, you understand? Mizen. But they want to like come find for, sorry, fault out of nowhere to like make me look at the at the bad person, you understand? But Mizen. yeah, I love how passionate you are about this topic. But the scenario I gave you is not a scenario of vice versa. Mm. It's a scenario of if you're trustworthy in your relationship. Yeah. You know you're not cheating. You know you're not I'll give it. my phone. Yeah. Why not? So now you've admitted that, okay, I'll give you will give your phone if you know you're not cheating. Yes. Why are those women who know that they are trustworthy of being in one relationship with a man and they gave birth to kids and the man wants to verify the kids, why are they abstaining? 
if they are trustworthy, if they truly know themselves, why are they abstaining? Why are they shying away from let's do DNA? Yeah, like I didn't finish my point actually. Finish. I will have actually come to that side, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I don't have issue with any women out there. I don't me personally, I think it's not a bad thing for someone to like for a lady to be like willing to be in that position to like, okay, let's clear the surface because if some like a conversation like that has to come up. It has to be like, oh, there's some type of things happening that you both need to clear up from one party or the other party, you understand? So for such things like that, I don't I think it's it's recommended for me. But I'm just saying, like for someone like me, bringing up such conversation like that, it has to like trigger me like, guy, I've been loyal to you like why is, what like, why is it triggering? Why are you bringing up such thing like that? Yes. Why is it triggering you when you know you're It will trigger me because I know deep down I've been faithful to you. Why, like, don't, I'm you, this why, kind don't, you, why don't you make the guy full of himself by admitting to go and do that to you? We'll do it, but I'm just saying, like, That's what I'm saying. the you first that will come to the fact that I have that trust issue, about, think about like, it, okay, like, okay this, this guy doesn't DNA, trust me, like, so I've been just I've been here for like, God as well. you know. I would like to hear from Miss Tanya. Why do women actually shy away or refuse to cooperate or comply with the man that wants to do a DNA test of his own kids? Okay, so you're saying most women. Most women, not all the women. Yes. So what happens when you're doing a DNA? Not every woman that does DNA, not every couple is going to do a DNA test, right? Excuse me. Not every couple is going to do a DNA test, right? No. Only those who don't trust each other, like. It's only when you are doubting someone mm-hmm. that's when you do a DNA test, mm-hmm. right? So we are looking at that percentage. No, we, we are not. Wait. Removing doubt from the equation, a man can decide, let me just do a DNA test. Let's assume, okay, yes, no. yes, there's a story. Out of no, and then there's no way you can yeah, just come out yes, of nowhere and say, let me want tell you something. There's a story I came the across. Which they look like you? Excuse me. There's a story I came across on, on social media. Mm-hmm. A man tried to vacate his family from. Africa to abroad, yeah. and when you're trying to apply for such visa, you will do a DNA yeah, test. Yeah, that's true. Now, in that scenario, and the woman is, you know, holding it back. No, then she's yeah. wrong. If it's okay. like that, it's whether it is like that or not, for a woman to actually abstain from DNA test, she is cheating. She is, she's not true to the relationship, and women don't like to admit and hold yourself accountable to their wrongdoings. You know, she said something, maybe accident happened. How did cheating become an accident? You left your location. You went to meet the man. Men also give excuses when they cheat. Yes. We are not it's true. not like just guys, don't guys, attack men. Don't, men we, are not debating, men don't we are not debating men. Let's be precise in this topic. We are not trying to wind away and try to put blame on anybody else. We are trying to know the reason. We are not actually blaming women on anything. We want to know the reason behind you guys are women and you guys of age of giving birth and you guys have been witnessing cases online in real life, friends and family or maybe stories you've heard that a man wants to do a DNA test multiple times. This is this happens uh, every time and majority of the times most women they don't want to entertain the DNA test. There's always one story, why is he doubting me, why should he doubt me, why you have done this, you have done that. Me, I would like to say that the reason why women actually abstain from this DNA test is because one, a woman to actually want to drag this, she's cheating. Second, she don't want to lose the benefit she's getting from the man. That is the reason why they hold back. This is from my own perspective. But I would like to hear your own. You were saying something. I want you to deliver that word. Tell us something. Was nice. <laughs> Women like to forget when the matter is being brought to their table. Let's hear from Mr. Farouk. To be honest, talking about DNA and why we may shy away from it, it's a question I myself, as a man, would like to find out. Really? Because, yes, because I don't know, I'm not hoping or wishing in the future when I get to meet my person that we will end up in a situation where even if there is a rising issue, that we have to, you know, try to verify our child, you know, <laughs> something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not hoping, and I'm not saying all women are like that, but I know it's a very important approach, you know, because the whole world is not 
really fair to men, you know. These women, they always get, they always, they keep getting, they keep getting the everywhere, the system, the court system, everything is in their favor, yes. and they keep acting for more. They keep acting for more. That is they true. keep campaigning. True. They keep talking about equality. That is true. And when it's come to the point of <laughs> let's let, let's verify, let, let me do something, let me do something that at least will not destroy my life. You know, mm -hmm. they started getting scared and started calling men all kind of men and become all sentimental and started trying to divert the issue mm -hmm. into saying it's trust. a trust issue mm -hmm. or financial issue or what is going to happen to the child. They can even divert the whole issue from not being there on their self. They put it on the child. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, what if what will happen to the child? Ah. How will, how is my child going to be hey. something like that? Not so I mean, I mean exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what's going. Yeah, you know what's going on. Instead of not saying anything, yeah. 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 They, 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 it's bad that like you guys are focusing on the blame has to come from the woman. Women, yeah. Is so that's what like, the question is. Mm -mm. He was saying the question is not only. Like, what's the question is, it can be from the why do from women the... shy away from DNA tests? That's what the question is. Are you listening, Dave? I'm listening. Thank you. I'm listening. I'm listening. I, 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 but I feel like you're just waiting. I think okay, I'm, I'm waiting. You know, I'm waiting. I, yeah, think, most of my sisters, I think most of my sisters here are trying to drag the issue because they know the answer is simple. They it's know. not even something to it's not something have to think about. Conversation yeah, about. Exactly. Like they admit and they already know mm. like the man at the end of the day will always be the one like in a in a very bad situation mentally, mm -hmm. physically and emotionally. even financially. Emotionally. You know? emotionally also. Yes. You know? So we are not trying to say that like all women are like that or mm. also I understand like the trust part is also something reasonable, you know? Like there are so many reasons for woman to feel you know, like, why would he even think like that? Yeah. What come up, what, when, when, since when this thing started? Mm -hmm. What did he see from me that he would start doubting our own child? Mm -hmm. It's not all about that. We, we are not trying to doubt that this child is not ours or you, you are cheating or something like that. Sometimes we're just trying to find out. Just as you know that it's mandatory for a man to pay child support, even if the child is not his, before he find out. Let me frame this in a way that it will be personal to you. It's not personal. No, no, I'm trying to say something. Okay. Just listen. I want to frame it in a way that it will be personal to you. Okay. Assume that you are a man, you are in a relationship, you got married, you know, you have a wife, you guys had kids, down the line, you want to actually verify your kids, which is normal. This is, this is simple logic. You, you are a man, talk from a man's perspective, assume you are a man and you want to take your wife to hospital, verify your kids and the wife is denying the request, abstaining from the request, creating Let drama on the request. No, wait, mm -hmm. I'm addressing something. Creating drama on the request. Mm -hmm. How would you react to that? Creating drama on the your wife, fact that I your say wife. Is good for yes, the your end. wife does not want to do the DNA test. Instead she's dwelling on why are you asking me those kind of questions? Why don't you trust so me? She didn't After say she all this want years, to do it. Listen. Right. After all these years I've been with you, this is your wife speaking. Mm. And you're a man. Mm. You're providing, you're taking care of this woman. Mm -hmm. You're doing all the necessities you need to do. You're trying your best. Mm. And inside this relationship, you want to verify your kids. Mm. Do you know that actually verifying these kids also builds trust in the relationship for a long time? So you now you want to verify your kids and your wife is denying the request. How would you see that? What is the reason? What would you say a man should say? Or a man should think on that? First of all, I'm not a man. That is certain. That is obvious. Yeah. You're not. Okay. And for me to ask my wife for us to do a DNA, that means I'm having doubts mm -hmm. on the child. Okay. So now... Is it, a bad, is it a bad thing to have a doubt? No, it's not a bad thing. I have so. It's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's something that is happening in reality. It's like that's what's well, that's okay. what's going on in the world. So like, but the fact that I obviously you can't ask a woman that okay, you can't just wake up and be like, babe, I want us to go, I want us to go and do a DNA on our child. For do you expect the woman not to have like a reaction? Like, are you expecting her to get a reaction from her? You're asking your wife. I now. think here is, she's going to do it. I think, but she would think like, why? 
why do you have to think about it that we should go and do it? Why you don't you want to mention that she's cheating? What is your problem? No, it just it's comes like to really like she's cheating. cheating. That's what you're doing. You're cheating like, like, like that. that. I get your point. Like, of course, we definitely you know, get no, a reaction. Mr. What she was trying to say is Mr. Farouk, I'm, which I'm not trying to take a side here. Please. You know? No, I want I to hear the thing. You know, what I'm in every situation and every relationship is unique, you know? Like, Sometimes the way you even approach a situation matters a lot. Exactly. You understand? Mm. Like, let's say there is something they call deep structured communication. Mm. You understand? Mm. Where you will actually talk to someone and make them understand where you're coming from, mm. which will mm. maybe at least at least clear that doubt from their mind. Exactly. You understand? Like, I'm trying to be fair here. Maybe you cannot just wake up and say, this child gives some kind of reason that he didn't look like me. Why is he this color? I need to do a DNA test. There, you are clearly saying your wife is cheating. cheating yeah. You understand? But if, for example, you say... Oh, Mr. Hedby's example. For example, then you know she's cheating. If you say... That's where she's cheating. Say, that say, she's cheating if you say, for example, babe, I point. feel like, you know, things are happening in this world and all that. I'm not doubting you. I have been loving you from the beginning. From mm-hmm. the beginning, and yes, then something like that. that, like put it in a structured manner. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe just maybe. Thank you. Thank you. And, thank and thank second thing, let me learn the thing. And again, mm-hmm. women are not wired to think like us. You understand? How do you we think? Might, you might. They think emotionally. So how do That's we think? True. We think. So they feel like I'm just You understand? Okay, we, yeah. think, we think logically. You understand? Meanwhile, you know. The, the the way they you will perceive oh it's just a normal thing let's just go and do this. So it may be a normal question, but why? Yeah, like but for them they yeah. are going to take it. In the, I'm not saying like it's the, they are. It's happening every day, each mm-hmm. and every day. You will see someone even where you never expected there will be cheating. You will find out that a three child, six child, two, yeah, two children, yours. six possible. children are not yours. Mm-hmm. You understand? Then themselves they know if I'm saying this, they know they are the one who cheat the most in the relationship. But the only thing is that is their is their habit. They know, you 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 know. Why are you covering your face? Why are you covering your face? You know, you know. No, thank you. Thank you, you just don't want to agree. Thank you. And it's part of your own, your, your part of your own lifestyle to Everyone always try to shy away from things. You're the one that's thank you. Outside. Thank you. Everyone Mr. Mr. Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Farouk. I love I love what you did there, but I did not agree with what you said. You know, you've been saying so many things, yeah. I'm agreeing to that. But this I mean, one, this one you just it's said, it's I did not agree. I'm with. trying I don't to understand. Want to, I don't want to do to time. I don't want to actually debate with you. I'm trying to understand her point. It's not valid. You understand? Thank you. you can't understand because she's shy. I would like to. I would like to actually hear from the butcher of white tones. I would like to hear your twenty cents on the reason why women actually shy away from wanting to do DNA tests. For their kids, or maintain peace in their home. Why do women abstain from it? Why do they try to make it big of a deal? Because logically and emotionally, it should not be big of a deal. If something is yours, you should claim it and be be it. Why do you need to? Okay, you someone wants to put you in true test. You're using excuse to avoid the test. You're using trust. You're using doubts. It does not justify uh, the behavior. Tell us something, Mr. Butcher. <laughs> okay, first of all, I would say there are no illegitimate children. They are only irresponsible adults who had yes. sex and had children. That's true. true. But every child, no child is illegitimate. And every child has a right to life. Yes. First, put that one on the shelf. Now, second of all, as it comes to men cheating, why do women feel bad when or why do women have a mindset that men cheat more in relationships it's because women are designed to they are intimate intimate animals not animals like people and if i'm nice to arike for example and we have a very good time she doesn't want she doesn't want to think about that good time we shared being experienced by another woman so even if I'm just talking to you, she could just assume that I'm being too nice to you. So that's the assumption that, hey, men cheat. That's the first aspect of the question. But when it comes to DNA, there's something called a bloodline. A bloodline. 
in all the in all history you see this son this man was the son of this this was the son of that this was the son of that so there's a bloodline and every man ensures that he protects the bloodline the bloodline is usually from the man not the woman of course not the woman the bloodline is the man that's why you have king david and they can say in Christendom, they can say Jesus is the son of David because it traces the bloodline. And that same blood from David ran through to Jesus. Sorry to use the Christian analogy. But if a man has a reason to question his bloodline, you cannot deny him that. Right. Because at the end of the day, I can be married to you, for example. My love for you at some point might, might dwindle. But even you, if I'm married to you, in an example, mm-hmm. believe it or not, once we have children, the love you have for me reduces from 100 to 20, and you start loving that child even more than me. That's true. Yes. yes, that's true. So, I have every right to be sure that this child we mine. share is mine. Of course. Because you're taking that love you're supposed to give to me, to give to this child, and it's not even my own child. What's up now? Why? Yes, love it. Is it that, like, you know that the child is not yours? You know some people, they, they already, like, find out that the child is not theirs before they will not ask the woman that they want When it comes to cheating, yeah. men, or they saw men cheat like dogs. Men cheat like dogs. Yeah. Men cheat like dogs. Men cheat like dogs. Yes, I tell you, men cheat like dogs because for a man, it's about scores. Oh, I have slept with 200 women or 400. <laughs> I don't know the people that keep records. But women cheat like cats. If a, child, if a cat wants to shit here, it just shits and cleans. <laughs> you don't even know. She can even be with you in the same house and be like, oh baby, I just want to go to the market. But bro, you don't know what's in the mind of the next person. Are we saying, don't trust your partner? No, that's what we're saying. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, trust is knowing that this person has the potential to hurt you. But you're praying that they don't do it. Yeah. At the end of the day, we can never be perfect in a relationship. So please, boss, if your husband says to you, let's do it then, and you show that you're honest with this man and you love him, let's come on, go. do it. Do it. Do it. That's all I've said. But if you said only a woman that knows she's cheating, we we'll we'll say no. But if you know you're not um, cheating, why are you I, I, I was thinking like, you? wait, so like, you don't, I don't know, no, no. They, and also the manner of approach. Some people don't have any man, any manner of approach, and how to yeah. um, somehow, to say somehow, their word. Somehow, so you cannot just go and tell me, let us go and do DNA. Somehow, uh, what did you smoke? Excuse me. <laughs> somehow, I don't think the manner of approach really means. It, it really matters. It, matters. it really, really matters. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. If you down, I argue with you. <laughs> 100% I love it I love it women actually have their own way of thinking men have their own way of thinking this is what makes the relationship interesting for a man let's go and do DNA it's not a biggie DNA is not a biggie understand but most women they, they make it a biggie they make a big deal out of it and we can understand why they are emotional and they cheat behind closed doors That's to be exact the main reason most women actually abstain from okay Let's go and do DNA test and we try to you know, form drama. Some even do video on social media to like blackmail their man for wanting to verify their kids. Are you playing with my psychology? You understand? This is this is real life. We need to verify these kids. You understand? So, but women should. It's a good thing to verify your child. Please stop interrupting me. Women should try their best to actually. You know, if you know you you you're trustworthy in your relationship, you're reliable and you're with one man and one man alone. You know, I don't see the reason why you need to even second guess yourself in wanting to do a DNA test. Even you as a woman somehow, and you know you're jumping up and down, you should actually do that DNA test in secret and verify if the kids are yours, the man's own, or someone else. You understand? I think we have actually touched different angles from this topic. It's a very sentimental one. It touches emotions and feelings. You can see the energy in the room is not the same energy we started with. But our message has been passed. We'd like to move on to the next question under the questions and answers segment. So we're heading into the second question under our questions and answers segment. And it says, Women say men don't make them come. 
But whose comes is important? The man's come or the woman's come? I would like to hear from my right angle because first, did you see what happened? When we are dwelling on the topic that was touching women's hearts, faces we are shrinked, frowned. You understand? Now we want to talk about calm. Smiles all over. But <laughs> let's 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 take it home. Whose calm is important? Is it the man's calm or the woman's calm? I want to hear from uh, Miss White, Miss oh Zen. Tell us something. Me, I well, is I your think calm? part is are more important because if we're in the bedroom and then I can make you come, don't worry about me. You understand? That's being selfish of you, like that is true. Putting yourself that's being self-centered or being selfish because if we're there, we're there to like satisfy each other and for us to like reach at a certain peak and you know make it fun in the relationship. Because if you didn't get me there then What's that? <laughs> What's the point? You know? And anyways, I think there is also room for improvement. Yeah. But I think both parties are important. If I make you come, make me come. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It should be vice versa actually. On this one I will support women with my full chest. Because some men actually derive pleasure by actually wanting their women to come first before them. We're not dwelling on that. I'm going to bring it back to the to the butcher. Butcher is always realistic. This is why he's the butcher. You understand? So let's hear from butcher. What are you going to tell us on this? Whose comb is actually important from your own perspective? As long as genetics go and reproduction go, mm-hmm. in plain terms, the man's comb is more important yes. than the woman's comb. Like. If I'm looking for offsprings, I don't care about the woman's comb. Because I need offsprings. I don't need what I come going to do. Am I going to use it to cook? No. Jesus. But that was tough. Yeah, but <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> sexual satisfaction, <laughs> we need to understand that. We need to understand that it's a two-way street and communication is key. Yeah. But then as much as we communicate, let's be honest. I can't always make you come as a woman. That is true. Not every time. No, that is true. Don't come every time. <laughs> No, I, I, I will come. Every time, right? I will come because uh-huh. at the end of the day, men are wired to come. Men are wired to come faster than women. Yes. Let's be honest. Yeah. That's true. Mm, that's we, true. we said this before in the podcast. Yeah. Men are like fuel engines. Women are like diesel engines. Diesel engine takes a longer time to heat up. So by the time me, okay, if we juxtapose it into a quickie, in the quickie is me that is me that determines the length of the quickie. If I come. Then the quickie is over. If you come before me in the quickie and I've not come, the quickie is not over. The quickie is me. So I would say, like I said before, genetically or for reproduction purposes, the man's come is more important. But when you and your woman are together, you know, maybe. And then I would also say this is very important. A lot of people mistake the idea that sex starts in the bedroom. It doesn't. It starts with. What has been going on during the day or days before? All those flirts you tell your girl, maybe she posts a picture like, hey, baby, you look so sexy. All of these things put her mind in the mood. So it's not always about yeah, all these styles. Yeah, all those good things. Maybe you guys cook you together. Put them in the mood. Cook together, you touch her, you play with her. Uh, so you make everything easy. Mm-hmm. So by the time you guys get into the room, and then with communication, you can know that, okay. Some, some guys feel like, oh, you need to just hold our boobs. And some girls, their boobs are like stones. They don't feel anything. Yet. Yeah. So, communication is very important. Oh you need to know, everybody has a, weak, a weakness. Oh Even Farouk, you know you have a weakness. No matter how strong you are, you know, see some of hours, man. Farouk is not a place in this one. Well, if we're talking about being realistic, the, man, the man's come is much more important than the first time I'm agreeing with you uh, we don't agree on many things so yeah <laughs> what are the sexual things we should normalize in the bedroom you know there's so many things that happen during sex and there's so many things that is normal that people find awkward I would like to hear from my guests what are the sexual things that we should actually normalize and this question, this question, I want to start from Miss White. The 
because she has a very deep insight on this particular question. Like, few of the things that I think we should normalize in bedroom. Like, one of them, I could say pussy fat. Pussy what? Pussy fat. How does that sound like? <laughs> I think the English word is goofy, I think something goofy. Goofy. Actually, after during during the process of dogging, I believe each and every one of us here and out there, I'll try dogging. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all have tried it. You know, this content for 18 plus and above. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so I think pussy fat is something that we should normal we should actually normalize in bedroom because I've actually had a conversation with some you know like mature people you know like they brought it up sometimes and they were like is this something normal like we like I know it's something awkward but I think it's something that we should normalize because the fact that pussy fat is it's actually an experience you know, some people have actually not experienced it, but that is true. yeah. But then, you know, you will get to experience it when you get there. I believe a lot of people out there have experienced that, that pussy fat thing, you know. So let's normalize pussy fat. <laughs> and when I had that conversation <laughs> with with a guy, it was like, I think this girl is cheating. You know, like, I was like, no, I don't think that. Because so, of pussy fat. <laughs> yes, I was like, no, like we tried to like do our research on it and then, you know, ask a couple other girls and a guy perspective and they were like, um, I feel like this is something normal because if you are doing doggy and the girl is like this side Jesus. and the guy is like this side, then Jesus. obviously there is a way of you putting hair like pumping pumping air into that thing mm. you know <coughs> hey, that well, I love I love the yeah. angles I love the angles that she dwells on she says that uh, pussy fat should be normalized as yeah. most men actually find it awkward they, some men will be like what is that what's nice did I what did I listen to mm. should be normalized should be accepted as somehow is the pressure that you're putting in the hole that is making the the vagina to actually make a sound that sounds like a fat. If I'm being politically correct, I don't want to embarrass myself. So I would like to hear from Miss Tanya what we should normalize in bedroom in our today's generation. What is your own perspective? What should we normalize that people find awkward and don't like? Well, I think what I'm about to say, I wouldn't say people find it awkward, but people are not getting the point. So, like foreplay, mm-hmm. men are not getting the point. I get it, you can't wait, right? But still, no, 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 don't, don't speak for all men. Some men you are into be. foreplay, some men so, play with you. Know. Do you know why most men actually rush them into sex? Uh-huh. I feel like foreplay should be reciprocal. You should not be waiting for a man to start the foreplay. You should start by sucking the man's nipple first. You can mm. even yeah. start, but you be rushing me. Calm down. Mm, yes, that is like true, that's true, but not all men. Let's not accuse all men like this. He didn't say all men, he said yeah. some men. Okay, exactly. that is true. That is true. So you feel like most men should actually normalize playing first before sex. Mm. Um, to the foreplay thing, yeah? Guys out there, to all my cute, handsome guys out there, normalize foreplay in the bedroom, okay? We're girls, we're women. In order for us to get there, you have to like, try to like, Entice us, do something, touch every part that needs to be touched. Bring everything that needs to be bring in the bed. <laughs> what am I saying? Like touch every sensitive, sensitive part that needs to be touched in there, you know? For us to like be in that mood and make it memorable. So to my guys out there, take note of this one, okay? I love Can it. Can I say something before you forget? Yeah. Okay. I won't say it happened to me, but mm. men, some men don't even change their kind. Men on the one hand, the next time it will be. I've oh. heard girls complaining. It's not me, but I've heard you know men. They be looking so good, like you be like, dude, <laughs> this man is looking damn well, but he's underway, guys. Let me ask you a question. Like, don't you have a black brother? You repeat mostly, like what? A black brother? Like, you mostly repeat it. 
you know, when I'm going, <laughs> okay. No, okay. Yeah. Mm. When you're going to your men, like, are you going to be wearing the same thing? No, like, maybe you, I don't know you, but when you're going to your men, obvious, you the certain and the exact. So, if today I met you with Blake, tomorrow I'm not going. With wait, wait, wait. Did he, he just listed men changing boxes or something that you memorize in the day. Yes, I yes, know. That's like, like, a good point, actually. Like, they don't change. Like the, you don't see. It's smelling like, now. It's so the boxers now is entering the sex from the it's direction. It's not green, but you know the eyes. Even you, when you see a woman with the, in that sex cylinder, it doesn't detain you on. Like you be yeah. like, wow. Like so I see today is that black one. With the whole, tomorrow is the <laughs> same <laughs> thing. Tomorrow is the same thing. Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe. Maybe. No, I'm not saying me. I've heard people complain. <laughs> I'm not saying me. I've heard people She's complaining. She's speaking from people in general. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard girls complaining. Like, mm. That's why even on Valentine, when you complain, that means women are buying you underwear. It's because they are seen. No, no, don't go there. Don't. Hey. Hey. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you, people, you people don't like actually spoiling men. We do. do. Like. But I would like to also hear your own view. What should we normalize in the bedroom? Okay. On to my own side, I think... Men should analyze the okay. Men, both women and men, should analyze like the partner sternums. Some people don't know the um, the partner sternum. For Stam, it, stand what? Like turn, 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 turn on. Turn on. Okay. Yes. Some people just trash. They know like four plates just be there. Blah blah blah. Like, some people love to be touched. Some people love to be licked ears. Some people love to be sucked nails. Some people love to be. You have to talk to your. Partner like blah blah, analyze. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't just rush onto something. I'm just going back to the same point that she was talking of foreplay. We should normalize foreplay. Yes, yes I love it. Mm-hmm. Men should. What did you say? Men should do again. Men they should know what turns their women on. Yes. This topic actually was asking what we should normalize in the bedroom, but somehow women directed the problem to men, as if women are making sex too fantastic. Men are the ones putting the pressure and effort to actually make sex what it is today. What are women what are women supposed to actually normalize in this bedroom to make sex more interesting? Talk about women. Talk from your own perspective as a woman. What should the women like you normalize in bedroom to make sex interesting and more than more than just sex? Okay, okay have more tactics, I think so. What having more tactics? On how, yeah, on how to satisfy a man. How? Some people just know you just have to go like one just lie down like a dead body. Yes, like don't move. you should Every be time. yeah, you should be creative, right? Like right on him, be submissive in some other way. You understand? You mm. should like you should be like what should I say? Yes, daddy. Creative. Yes. Yes, daddy. I mean. <laughs> in other way, you should like dominate. And be submissive in other way. I think you understand what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I understand it. it. Um, for me, I think everyone has said uh, excellently well. Yeah. Um, I will only say there's something a lot of people don't always shy away from, which is acceptance. And when I say acceptance, it's nudity because the, your partner can dress in fine clothes and and you can compliment their fine clothes, but. Are you willing to accept them for their flaws? Mm. You know, your girl might have stretch marks or she might have a pot belly. Yeah. So I think in the bedroom, it's about loving the person with the flaws. So we should introduce being comfortable to walk around naked yeah, and sure. not, not judge, judge your yeah. partner, love yeah, your sure. partner. That's the only thing I can say. I don't know about the old styles and all, but I believe acceptance starts, starts from appreciating the person in their natural state mm-hmm. without clothes no even if her hair is tacky or whatever you, you still love her like that or even if your guy maybe is not properly shaved or whatever but at the end of the day why will the man be looking at another woman because he deems the other one sexier than what he has at home so if i can appreciate my woman naked and see that even if even if the other girl maybe looks better, but it's all the same. Bro, at the end of the day, let's be honest. Every woman, tall, fat, short, slim, they all have vaginas, man. So let's 
let's love her woman okay. and be able to stand naked before her and she can stand naked before you without judgment and I would say I would also add by saying let's also consider the habit of couples should walk around naked in their home if they live alone they should walk around naked that way they feel free with themselves that's my own opinion I like it so we should normalize having normal quickie having two, three, five minutes sex and call it a day thank you guys for for your perspective and your your views on this particular topic I would like to shout out to our viewers thank you for tuning in to Vibe Tunes Podcast our social media handles will be on the screen below like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel drop your comments you you watch video you just skip just believe anyhow drop your comments please I use God beg you drop comments thank you